Alright, hi, how are you doing? So today I'm going to show you how to draw the Toyota logo which is this. This is what I've drawn earlier and I've also put in the dimensions using different colors so that it's easier for us to see the different ellipse. So um, let's start drawing. So first of all, you call the ellipse tool which is EL and enter specify the axis and point of the ellipse so let me just randomly click anywhere on the ball let's say i want it, i want to start my ellipse here and then now specify the other end point of the axis i'm drawing the biggest axis and the biggest axis have a, uh, a length of 125 units long on its major axis so i would type 125 and then I specify the distance to the other axis the other axis to the length is 37 I type 37 and enter. So I have the biggest axis now. In order to draw the smaller axis inside that biggest, uh, uh, to draw the ellipse, the smaller ellipse and inside the biggest ellipse, we need to determine the center point first. To do this, uh, make sure your O snap is on and your ortho is on. So we just draw a line. This, is, this will just serve as a guideline and then specify the, set, the first point of line. So we specify the center point of line, you just move your cursor near the ellipse and immediately will tell you where the center point is. You click on that center point and then with ortho on, so you just move outwards and just click anywhere because it will just serve you as the guideline and then go back there and then draw another one horizontal line and just click anywhere outside of the ellipse and enter. So now let's draw the smaller ellipse. You type EL and now, now we have the center. So instead of specifying the axis and point, you choose the center and then you specify the center of the ellipse. The center of the ellipse is moving your cursor to the center of the ellipse. You click on that and then you specify the end point of the ellipse. So the end point of the ellipse this way would be 115 divided by 2. So that is 57.5. And you enter. So now you specify the other end point on the minor axis. The minor axis has a distance of 32. So you just type 32 and enter. And there you have the uh, smaller ellipse inside of that bigger ellipse. So let's now do this one. This ellipse here. So again, call the ellipse tool by typing EL and enter. Um, you can use the center point that we already have. You click you type center, okay, click on center, and then specific center point. You click on the center that we have created, and then specify the end point of the axis. So this, um, on this side of the axis, on the horizontal side of the axis, the distance is 20. So you type 20 and enter, and then the distance this way, you can either just click on that intersection, or you can type in, um, oh, well, yeah, just, just do that. Let's just do that. Just click the, the intersection. And there you have that ellipse. Now let's, let's do the one, the smaller one inside it. We type EL. Uh, let's type C for the center of the ellipse. And you specify the center, which is that center that we have created. And then just go to the side. The distance is 15, enter, and then upwards, you can just click on that intersection, and there you have your ellipse. Now, we only have two more ellipses to go. Again, type EL, specify the axis and point, or the center. Um, for this ellipse, we do not have the center, so just let's just use the axis and point. One of the endpoint of the axis should be touching here. So you click on that and then specify the other endpoint downwards. The distance from this, uh, the top part of that ellipse to the bottom would be 40. So you type 40. And then to the side, it is 74 divided by 2, which is 37. Type 37 and you have that. And then finally, one last ellipse, EL. Enter, specify the axis endpoint. So this smaller ellipse 
would uh, touch this point click on there and then the length downwards is 30 and then to the side it is 64 divided by 2 is 32 and you're almost done now all you have to do is you can delete these two guidelines and with the trim tool you just type trim and enter and you can just trim uh, the parts that you don't need like these this okay trim trim that one trim that trim go trim that and that too so let's clean them up a little bit more and we're done and so that is how you draw the toyota symbol which is just drawing of six ellipse and trimming so thank you very much i hope you guys can try this bye bye